Why is it that in the last decade, Oklahoma has proportionally put more women in jail than almost any other state? We sent 1,393 women to prison last year. And we've been among the top three states for the last decade. In 2010, Oklahoma's female incarceration rate was 20% higher than the next closest state, Louisiana, and 225% above the national average. And every year, our women's prisons get more crowded. For a moment, consider the impact. According to a report from the Department of Corrections, 85% of the women in jail had at least one child, with an average of three children per woman. 7,071 kids. 65% of those kids are under 18. 4,624 kids. The study asked mothers about problems their kids were experiencing since the incarceration. It found a 94% increase in bad grades, a 100% increase in kids getting expelled, 50% increase in kids dropping out, 167% increase in kids with drug problems, and 370% increase in depression. It's hard because they, they don't understand. Them little girls do not understand why their mom's gone and how long she's going to be gone. It's been a chore to sit down and explain to them that she's gone. We have to do like this, we have to do that in order to just keep going. Let's look at drug offenders, which make up about half of the Oklahoma female prison population. About 65% of women in Oklahoma prisons are in need of drug treatment. At the end of 2010, almost three-fourths of the women leaving prison had not received adequate treatment, which means they're much more likely to go back to their old ways and end up back in prison. One of the things I find about a lot of women here is that their concept of who they are and what they're about is a trauma that happens with I'm doing time, you know, and I just want to get this over with, or I want the, the GPS, or I want probation, rather than skills and future and, you know, planning whole and a whole change of, of the spirit. It has, I, would, I feel like it would have saved taxpayers a lot of money. It would save my family a lot of heartache if I could have done this 20 years ago instead of coming now. Statewide, it costs a rough average of $16,000 to keep a woman in prison for a year. That's $44 a day. Drug court treatment costs just $15 a day, or $5,000 per year. The Tulsa World, in partnership with Oklahoma Watch, takes a look into the stories of some of these women. Why is our rate so high? What's the effect on a family if the mother is sent to prison on nonviolent charges? And does incarceration really have the effect it's supposed to?